Okay, so we're in Blackpool again today. Overcast, but not too bad. Look what was the posh area of Blackpool. We've got Claremont Parade just behind. These were the posh houses for the business owners of Blackpool. Even at one time when these were first built, there was a toll you had to pay to get up this part north of the pier. North pier just there. Let's see. Better look at the pier. All quiet, still under lockdown obviously. No illuminations, all the arcades, they're shut. Pleasure Beach shop, Tower shop. So yeah, these would have been houses at one time, many years ago. Obviously now big hotels, public bars on them. Like we say, all those years ago, you wasn't even allowed to have a liquor license up this end. This was the posh area. It was twice as much to get on North Pier as Central Pier. North Pier obviously being the first, and they built Central Pier that was originally called South, until they built South Pier, and then up to Central, and come Central. Trams obviously still running. The newer trams. Tram there with the tower in the backdrop. Illuminations there still up.
old shelters just north of North Pier. Still a few of them around, dotted around. Not that many now though. Many of people shouted here from the sun and the rain over the years. You do get a lot of fishermen down here. This is lower walk. This is middle walk if you get further down. That's north of North Pier if you go further down. Then you have top walk, middle walk and bottom walk. Peaceful that way if you want to head that way. And the North Pier. Tide just coming in now by the looks. The tower is still being lit of an evening. I think it's just a bit of a signal to happier days. Hopefully we'll have them back at one time. There's Queen Street up there. All the bars, takeaways, all shut at the moment, obviously. Soul Suite. Really good place at Soul Suite. Short, of course. Still got police there, making sure nothing's wrong on the prom. Yeah, there's a cenotaph. Only a few people invited yesterday due to obviously the coronavirus and lockdown. Let's head a bit further south, heading south towards Central Pier now. Heading now towards close to North Pier. Cenotaph just in front of us. Butlings Hotel. Good question, how many hotels on Blackpool Promenade? Answer later on in this vid. I'd say still a few people around and about getting their exercise. Just starting to rain a little now. And about 2.33 o'clock Monday. Okay, so we're getting a bit closer now to the cenotaph. Backdrop with the tower once again, the cenotaph. Obviously yesterday, Remembrance Sunday, first time in years I've not been down. Honour the glorious dead. Real shame. Next to there you've got the North Pier obviously, the Merry England Bar. A lot of people come on holiday into there. Sun over there, heading to the east. Near next to the cenotaph. Have chairs and it won't eat kids. But then got a bit of a reputation for no good as shall we say after dusk. To get a better picture of the cenotaph. The old shelters north of North Pier. Still a few of them around, dotted around. Not that many now though. Many people shouted here from the sun and the rain over the years. You do get a lot of fishermen down here. This is Lower Wall. Middle walk if you get further down. That's north of North Pier if you go further down. Then you have top walk, middle walk, and bottom walk. 
peaceful that way if you want to head that way. End of North Pier. Tide's just coming in now by the looks. The tower is still being lit of an evening. I think it's just a bit of a signal to happier days. Hopefully we'll have them back at one time. There's Queen Street up there. All the bars, takeaways, all shut at the moment, obviously. Soul Sweet. Really good place at Soul Sweet. Short, of course. Still got police there, making sure nothing's wrong on the prom. But yeah, there's a the cenotaph. Only a few people invited yesterday due to obviously the coronavirus and lockdown. Instead a bit further south, heading south towards Central Pier now. So this is a new building replacing Yates's. I'm sure everyone will remember Yates's that's come to Blackpool or lives in Blackpool. There you go, now a travel lodge. Seems a shame they just didn't rebuild Yates's. Well, that's a new building. Lots of work going on on the prom. About time really on some of these buildings. And you've got Yates's North Shore just there. The green building, white building. And just in the distance there, you might be able to notice, that's the wedding chapel. New wedding chapel on the prom. Also serves drinks when they're allowed, <laughs> when we're not in lockdown. show you the other side in a second so we're at the other side now the wedding chapel very busy in the summer tables outside nice place especially like we say in the summer really nice here then we get to where just now south of North Pier you can now see central in the distance with a big wheel on it. Not much opposite the tower now. There you go. There's a tower. Top of the tower. Yeah. This is where they put on shows and that during the season. Let's hope we do have one next year. <laughs> up towards comedy carpet just in front as well yeah there's a tower building what was Woolworths the clock I'll have a look at comedy carpet okay. second comedy carpet let you have a look at some of these the Monty Pythons Loads here, you could spend ages here. Literally. That's how big it is, I'm going that way. Comedy carpet for you. 
loads of names on here. The greats over the years appeared in Blackpool. Beatles were even here at the ABC in the 60s. Great names. See if we can find some of the names along here. Some people might recognise some of these names. That many of them bore people to death. What have we got here? There's Victoria Wood, Norman Wisdom, the Don of the Island Man for Donkey's Years, Norman. Real good story, Norman Wisdom's life. You can have to read his book. Who we got here? June Whitfield. Paul Whitehouse. <laughs> Heading back up now, up north. Heading back towards the Metropole, as you can obviously tell. Obviously the Senate House just there next to the Metropole. And the question that I did say earlier in the video, I tell, did say I'd tell you later on. How many hotels, bed and breakfast on Blackpool Promenade? You're looking at it, just the one. This is the promenade. That is not. This is side's prom. So just one on Blackpool Promenade. So we're looking north now, just past North Pier. Let's swing around a little bit. There's Butlins Metropole, as we used to call it. North Pier just there. And looking north. Just get Uncle Tom's cabin there. So yeah, Uncle Tom's cabin, all the hotels where we started earlier in the video. Butlings, Cenotaph and the tower in the background there together and obviously North Pier. So we'll sign off for now, tomorrow we'll probably set off again from the RNLI lifeboat station where we finished before and we'll see what's going on a bit more central tomorrow weather permitting so don't forget to press subscribe and like and see you later well, this is a new building replacing Yates's for everyone who remember Yates's that's come to Blackpool or lives in Blackpool there you go now a travel lodge Seems a shame they just didn't rebuild Yates's. Well, that's a new building. Lots of work going on on the prom. About time really on some of these buildings. And you've got Yates's North Shore just there. Green building, white building. And just in the distance there, you might be able to notice, that's the Wedding Chapel. The new Wedding Chapel on the prom. Also serves drinks when they're allowed, <laughs> when we're not in lockdown. I'll show you the other side in a second. So we're at the other side now. The wedding chapel. Very busy in the summer. Tables outside. Nice place. Especially like we say in the summer. Really nice here. Then we get to where 
Just now south of North Pier, you can now see Central in the distance with a big wheel on it. Not much opposite the tower now. There you go. There's the tower. Top of the tower. Yeah. This is where they put on shows and that during the season. So we do have one next year. <laughs> Coming up towards Comedy Carpet just in front as well. Yeah, there's the tower building. What was Woolworths? The clock. I'll look at comedy carpet in a second.